I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric equations. Here is a very interesting equation to solve. We need to solve square root of 3 minus 1 times cos x plus square root of 3, let me make this plus 1, times sin x equals to 2. Now to solve this equation, we will like to write this in terms of sin. So I want to make a substitution so that I could write this as r of sine alpha cos x plus r of cos alpha sine x equals to 2. So once I do that substitution, I can always write this as r of sine x plus alpha equals to 2. So that's the whole idea. Okay? Now that really means that we are going to write r sine alpha as equal to square root of 3 minus 1 and r cos alpha as equal to square root of 3 plus 1. Right? There was a typing error. I made it plus 1. Now clearly from here oh, we get the value of r. If we add squares of these, right? So, so if we add squares of these, then we get r square. Their sum is uh, 1, so r square equals to square root of 3 minus 1 whole square plus square root of 3 plus 1 whole square, correct? So we can write, simplify this. So this is uh, 3 plus minus, that becomes minus 2 times square root 3 plus 1. And squaring this, we get 3 plus 2 square root 3 plus 1. And that is, these two terms cancel. We get 3 plus 3 as 6 and 1, 7 and 1, 8. So r square is 8. And that gives you r as square root of 8, which is 4 times 2, so 2 square root 2. So we get the value of r as 2 square root 2. Now we need to find what the angle alpha is going to be in this particular case. To find the angle alpha, we'll take the ratio. So we get tan alpha as equal to square root of uh, 3 minus 1 over square root of 3 plus 1. Now what we could do is divide by square root of 3 to rewrite this as equal to 1 minus 1 over square root of 3 over 1 plus 1 over square root of 3. Now that reminds you 1 is tan of pi by 4 correct? minus 1 over square root 3. You can use your special triangles. So in a special triangle, you know, the sides are 1 to square root 3. We are talking about 1 over square root 3. So we'll look into this angle, which is pi by 6. Okay. So we get tan of pi by 6 over 1 plus. You could write this as product of tan pi by 4 and tan pi by 6, just to complete the formula, right? Right. So this could be written as tan of a minus b, which is pi by 4 minus pi by 6. Okay? So pi by 4 minus pi by 6 is, let's complete this, taking 12 as your common denominator, 3 pi minus 2 pi, so we get pi over 12. So we know angle alpha is basically pi by 12. Is that clear to you? So there's a lot of uh, work which we have to do in this substitution. So that coefficient makes it slightly more complicated. Perfect. But anyway, we got the value of r, we got the value of alpha. So we could write this as r is 2 square root 2. So we get 2 square root 2 sine of 
x plus alpha which is pi by 12 equals to 2. Now dividing we get sine of x plus pi by 12 as equal to 2 over 2 square root 2 which is 1 over square root 2. Now as far as sine is concerned it is positive in quadrant 1 and also in quadrant 2 right so so those are the two angles which we are looking into so we can now say that x plus pi by 12 is equal to this angle pi by 4 and also this angle 3 pi by 4 right so those are the two solutions for us so accordingly we get x as equal to pi by 4 minus pi by 2 12 or we also get x equals to pi by 4 um, 3 pi by 4 minus pi by 12 correct so the first one gives us taking 12 as the common denominator 3 minus 1 is 2 pi by 12 or so 3 minus 1 is 2 2 pi by 12 or pi by 6 correct in this case we get x equals to uh, 9 minus 1 is 8 so we get 8 pi by 12 3 times 3 is 9 right taking 12 as common denominator 9 minus 1 is 8 and uh, you can now divide by 4 so 4 times 2 so 2 pi by 3 so those are the two solutions so we can now write a general solution here so general solution will be x equals to since it's a periodic function 2n pi plus pi by 6 the other one is 2n pi plus 2 pi by 3 you see that is how we are going to solve this particular question so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best